गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट सॉल्यूशन कंसेंट्रेशन टर्म्स सॉल्युबिलिटी ऑफ गैस इन लिक्विड दैट इज हैनरी लॉ नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर दैट इज राउल्स लॉ स्टूडेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू राउल्स लॉ partial vapor pressure of each volatile component in solution is directly proportional to is directly proportional to its mole fraction in solution to understood this we firstly have to know what is volatile so students volatile are those substances which get easily vaporize for example like petrol ether kerosene etc that is they develop some vapor pressure so volatile components in solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction for this we have to look over some terms likewise you can see here this is a component a and this is a component b suppose we are taking example of liquid in liquid solution and as our substance or component is volatile it develops some vapor pressure so p01 is pressure in pure form and p02 is the vapor pressure in pure form for p component and after mixing we get p1 and p2 that is partial pressure of one component is p1 and partial pressure of second component is p2 now as raoult's law say, says partial vapor pressure that is p1 volatile component in solution is directly proportional to its mole fraction so here you can see if we are taking two component so its mole fraction can be x1 for one component and x2 for other component so this can be understood by the following equation that is p1 is directly proportional to x1 and p2 is directly proportional to x2 or we can say that p1 is equal to p01 into x1 and p2 is equal to p02 into x2 here you can see again p1 not and p2 not are vapor pressure of ab in pure form and p1 p2 are vapor pressure of ab in solution In x1 x2 are mole fraction of ab now as we have discussed the vapor pressure separately now we have to discuss the total pressure total vapor pressure so students from dalton's law of partial pressure it is assumed that the total pressure over a solution is sum of partial pressure of each component that is p1 and p2 so p total can be given as p1 plus p2 or we can say that p total is equal to p01 x1 plus p02 x2 this is all about raoult's law now let us understood a special case that is raoult's law as a special case of henry's law so from raoult's law p1 is equal to p1 into p1 p01 into x1 for volatile component and p is equal to kh into x for gas that is henry law so what basically we see here is that only the proportionality constant are different that is p1 not 
एंड के एच दस पार्शियल प्रेशर ऑफ वोलेटाइल कंपोनेंट और गैस इज डायरेक्टली प्रपोर्शनल टू मोल फ्रैक्शन इन सॉल्यूशन दस वी कैन से दैट के एच इज इक्वल टू पी नॉट वन दिस इज राउल्स लॉ एज ए स्पेशल केस ऑफ हैनरी लॉ 